people tell me I'm a sellout because, oh, you ain't supporting your black system. I'm just like, what does that have to do with you being a, a, a good basketball player? If you suck, you suck. Caitlin Clark looks like Larry Bird in the face. She's not attractive. I don't care. She can hoop. Angel Reese wants to be a model. Good for you. But you can't play basketball real good right now. If I have a child that's playing basketball and he's not very good, I'm going to be honest with him. You need to work. I'm going to get you a layup coach <laughs> and we're going to figure it out. Angel Reese needs to take the time in the offseason when the season is over. Obviously, there's some season left to go, but she has to improve. Cheryl Swoops, when you start to needle people just because they're going to break your record, make sure that you're needling them with facts. Make sure that you're not putting out this narrative that you think that Angel Reese is 25 years old and she had an extra year to break your record. That's not true. Yo, bad. That shit crazy. On a Saturday! Welcome to the All Even Podcast. My name is Barry Grant Jr. You can catch me on Instagram, TikTok, was the platform formerly known as X. Um, All Even Podcast, All Even Media on TikTok. You can listen to the show on Podbean as well as Apple Podcasts. Spotify, iHeartRadio, I'm all over the place. Go to YouTube, hit that subscribe button. We are rolling, we are rising up the charts. Mr. 10K is about to be Mr. 11K soon. Claw. How are you, buddy? What's up, man? Oh, shit, you know. Wasn't here right. last week. Yeah, Good sure to see you. Thanks, you look great. You don't have to lie, all you right. know, just because you, you skipped out on your PTO, you know? Yeah. You don't have to lie. I didn't ask for a check, clearly, so, you know, we're good. Yeah, that's fine. But it's good to see you. Thank you know? too. Yeah. yeah. You missed a lot of conversation about, you know, I broke down the 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 um, the um divisions and all that stuff. It was, it was pretty good. I also spoke about something I'm going to discuss after this. But uh, spread like wildfire. It's great. That's good. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, I see it. It's out there. Yeah. People love it. Good. Or hate it. Or hate it. But love it. I prefer them to hate it, though. I do. Jimmy, this will be in turn. How's it going? It's going. You know, you <laughs> took some hiatus last week and went to, you know, the I was, sticks. I was in Bali. Yeah, definitely somewhere out there and, you know, gambled your life away. But the, the mafia is looking for me. It's, yeah, it's, it's good to see you. Right now. I'm good. Dip. Don't let them know you here, okay? Because <laughs> I give you up. Okay, <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. Now, nah, but good to see you, man. Um, it's good to be back. Yeah, yeah. You said that you, you know, you're gonna be here for quite some time. So I like to hear that. Should be. Uh, there's there's some football. Nothing to do. That's 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 going down. So you know, we 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 need your. Um, I don't even know if you have expertise, but I just like you here. <laughs> <laughs> And call on the ones and tools, the sound assassin. How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Anything exciting happen? I saw the Mets walked it off, so. Nice. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking. Who cares what drop? Don't matter. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. That's what I'm talking about. I like to hear it, but lots to discuss. Um, Thursday night football was a great game between the defending champions and uh, they're not the runner up, but they were. The right. third place team, you yeah. want to say? Runner up in AC. Yeah, third, you know. So, the great game. We're going to discuss that. The game is going on right now in, in Brazil with the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, and that's interesting, too, because they're they're wearing a color that they shouldn't be wearing. Um, you know, we'll discuss the Sunday games as well as the Monday night football game between the Jets and the 49ers. Some other stuff i like to discuss, too. Shaq was uh, talked about the worst players in the NBA to him right now, and he mentioned two guys, and I am in lockstep with Shaq right now. In lockstep. And I got more to say about what the hell he said. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, no, 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 no. There's some reports going on 
about the Denver Nuggets. And oh, man, you know, I love to talk about those Denver Nuggets. Love it. Uh, my irrelevant news of the week. And then the greatest segment on the planet, Dummy of the Week. Dummy, yeah. Before that, though, I feel good. I do. I, I feel really good. There's not a lot of times where, or, even, you know, I'll be transparent. Last few weeks, I've been, eh, I've been so-so, right? Haven't been feeling it a lot. Not the fact that I hate the show or things are not going well. It's just that sometimes you just need a break. You need, you might need a booster cable every so often, right? And Six was here last week, and he went ahead and poked the bear. He likes to do that. But he poked the bear not on the show. He did it hours prior, right? Sent me some Angel Reese stuff for me to watch. And then I spoke about it, and I was just honest. Yes. Are you, are you the bear? I am. So he poked you? Figuratively speaking. Pause, man. Okay. Clean that up, bro. That's just nasty work. Th that's a figure. All right, you know what? Hey, yo, what the? <laughs> you, you happy now? I, huh? I'm a little better, but it doesn't. Yeah. He 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 instigated the situation. Is that is that better? Yeah. Instigated the situation, and I had, I had to be honest, right? So put the video out there and it spread like wildfire right everybody on tiktok going crazy youtube going crazy ig going crazy you got people telling me i'm a sellout because oh you ain't supporting your black sister i'm just like what does that have to do with you being a a, a good basketball player if you suck you suck i don't give a damn what you look like like caitlin clark looks like larry bird in the face she's not attractive i don't care she can hoop Angel Reese wants to be a model. Good for you. But you can't play basketball real good right now. What does one have to do with the other? Nothing. And the thing is, I, I see what everybody is talking about in regards to the division between the two fan bases. People who support Caitlin Clark, majority of predominantly are white. People that support Angel Reese predominantly are black. And they like to make this thing a racial thing. You know, you hear the people who support Caitlin Clark, they, they talk about Angel Reese in this derogatory, very, very, you know, dog whistly way. Like you can tell that they're trying to go that way, right? And then you got the other side, which is they're trying to, to be defensive of that particular rhetoric, but also have this blind allegiance to somebody who can't fucking make a layup. Let's just be honest. If I have a child that's playing basketball and he's not very good, I'm going to be honest with him. I'm going to say, look, girl, you need to work. I'm going to get you a layup coach <laughs> and we're going to figure it out. I'm not going to say you're the best thing ever. No, because he's not going to get better that way. Angel Reese needs to take the time in the offseason when the season is over, obviously there's some season left to go, but she has to improve. And I said that in the clip. I'm not saying that she can't turn into a megastar and be the next Candace Parker or whoever it is, but she has to work at her game. And she has to want to be better. Caitlin Clark is better than her right now. She's the golden goose. People need to attach themselves to the train and get paid instead of complaining. People like Monica McNutt and ESPN criticizing her. People like Cheryl Swoops. And let me go ahead and go pan to the camera right now. Cheryl Swoops, legend, great basketball player, left a legacy in the WNBA, has four championships with the Houston Commons that no longer even exist anymore, right? But here's the problem is that when you start to needle people just because they're going to break your record, make sure that you're needling them with facts. Make sure that you're not putting out this narrative that you think that Angel Reese is 25 years old and she had an extra year to break your record. That's not true. So stop. Just because you might not like the fact that she's breaking your record doesn't mean that you have to spread bullshit. 
Also, the fact that you are a legend in this game, you should understand that there are superstars that move the needle. And there are very good players that can also help grow the game. Not as much as the needle movers, but they can also help grow the game. LeBron James, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan. These guys were needle movers. Can we really say that Steph Curry is a needle mover in regards to changing the game? Yeah, you can put him in there, right? Is Carmelo Anthony a game changer? No. He's a very good player, though. Allen Iverson changed the culture, right? Needle mover. Tracy McGrady, Hall of Fame player. Not a needle mover, though. But pushed the game forward because of his athletic ability and his skill. So you can be able to have both. Angel Reese right now, she's a very good player that can be able to push the game forward. Caitlin Clark is a needle mover. The numbers move when she plays. It's very simple. So for somebody to say that this person is better than you or you're going to be able to be the rookie of the year or you're supposed to be on the same plane, that's a lie. It's not honest. Caitlin Clark is up here. Angel Reese down here. Now, I said it a lot more demonstrative last week. And if you want me to continue to say that, I'll say it. Caitlin Clark is up here in the suites. And Angel Reese is down here in the basement with the, with the dehumidifiers and the space heaters. That's just the way it is. That don't mean that she's not going to be able to be good. But right now, it, it, it ain't close. MVP goes to Caitlin Clark. Simple. Just like LeBron James won MVP over Carmelo Anthony. Who made the playoffs? Melo did. People said it should have been co-MVP. Nah. Braun was the needle mover. People watched Braun all year long. They watched Carmelo too, but they didn't really care. They wanted to see what Braun was doing. That's all it was. So get on a train, get paid, and stop crying. And for people like Cheryl Swoops and Monica McNutt that want to have this, and, and even, even, who was it? I think it was Lisa Leslie. It says some nonsense too. Talking about oh, they're, they're equal. No, they're not. Even 2K, y'all better update y'all rosters. There's no way that Caitlin Clark could be a 90 and Angel Reese a 90. Because how do you get to the 90 for Angel Reese if she can't make layups? I want to know. I, I, I need to see the sliders. I need to see it. If the, if the rebounds is on 99, right? What are the layups on? What's the offensive IQ on? How you get to the 90? I know where Caitlin Clark is and her passing, shooting, all of this stuff. How do you get Angel Reese to the 90? I want to know. Because there's no path to it. Maybe they had to give out two. Two what? Two 90s. Why? That's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, the, it's the package deal thing. Caitlin Clark is, is, is the leader for, 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 for rookie of the year. Oh, what about Angel Reese? What about her? Huh? We got Steve Nash and Andre Drummond. Is Andre Drummond the same as Steve Nash? No. Dennis Rodman ever try to compare himself to Michael Jordan or Isaiah Thomas? What are we talking about here? Moving on. Moving on. Um, going into a serious conversation real quick. The Georgia shooting, 14-year-old kid that killed the two kids, two teachers. I mean, it's it's heartbreaking because this was something that obviously, and we say this all the time, that could have been prevented, right? But what makes it so much more upsetting is that you had his dumbass father the FBI was called to this kid's house a year prior for a, a, a shooting threat or whatever it was, bomb threat or shooting threat or something like that, right? So this was already out there. He's already on the fucking uh, 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 the radar, right? 
This kid that the people been talking about that he, he's been crying, crying out for help in regards to the mental health and all this other stuff. And what does the father do? Yeah. No, my kid has this mental health issue. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy him an AR-15. Not an Xbox. Not a PS5. Not take him down to, to Center Street and go get some, some poon on the side of the road. Whatever it is, right? You go get him an AR-15. So somebody who's mentally unstable, that's what it is. And this is why in this country I can't understand how people are so hesitant to restricting gun laws. These fucking hillbillies continue to just keep doing this shit. And here's the problem, right? Here's the problem that people don't want to talk about. You'll never see nobody my, my skin color doing that shit. You never see nobody in the inner cities doing that. It's always somebody in these country bumpkin places that take a gun and shoot up the place. So, what do we need to change? If these are all red states, and most of these shootings are in red states, at some point, can we get some change? How many kids have to die because you guys want to line your fucking pockets? It's enough already. Baseball is not our national pastime. Used to be. Football took that. But football is also not our pastime either. It's school shootings. Nowhere in the world they have school shootings. Only here. And this is supposed to be the greatest place in the world. But we have the dumbest fucking people here. Not only the people that live here in those red states that want to tote those fucking guns, but the people that actually make the laws. We want to get reelected so we don't want to we don't want to take your guns. We don't want to take Billy Bob's gun. Well, Billy Bob and his idiot kid got people killed. Of course. Throw the book at his ass. He should go to jail. But how many more times does this have to happen for people to say, yeah, I don't necessarily believe that AR-15s are needed. Or, if you don't want to take your guns away, don't be a fucking maniac. If you're smart enough and you have your mental capacities and your faculties together, and you go ahead and you, go, you get vetted and you pass all your shit, have your gun. But if there's something red that comes back into in your file about you, some psych evaluation that comes back a little wonky, you can't have it. So we're not trying to take your guns away because you can go to the Walmart and buy one. It's more about making sure the right people fucking have it. Instead of all of these dumbass kids that have it. And listen, respect to the people that have mental health problems, right? But I'm a little tired of hearing it now. I'm sorry. I'm a little tired of hearing that everybody and their fucking mama have a mental health problem. Sometimes you're just a bad person. Sometimes you're just a bad seed. It's not always a mental health problem. Because your fucking father was an idiot. You just like to point the blame at like someone. Like everyone has issues. Right. But we're not all designed to pick up guns and start shooting. Exactly. So you know how many times I, I'm stressed out about certain shit? There's never been a time where I say, you know what, man? I'm gonna shoot up this goddamn school. Like, that's not in my head. You have to be a certain person to want to do shit like that. It's not always mental health stuff. So we gotta cut that stuff out. I'm tired of hearing it. Everybody got mental health issues. That's not the case. We all stressed out. Everybody got problems. Yeah, everybody got their own problems. But that doesn't mean that you are a mental health case. Mm -hmm. Anything? No, I mean, I agree. I think it's a cop out. Seriously. And, um, you know, you got to have tighter restrictions on certain things and better evaluation. Your paperwork should include 
is it you or in the house or everybody in the house has Facts. to be whoever lives in that house is accountable for that gun. Yeah, exactly. Those, they all gotta get they every, all gotta get vetted. Everybody has to be vetted. Everybody in the house, you need the whole everybody who lives at your house, you have to have that whole thing. You're right. And more extensive, you know, research helps may potentially save lives. But absolutely. I mean it's well just, said. to blame to blame it on one thing is yeah, it's like you said, it's the rhetoric. It's the rhetoric, and it's 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 enough already. I'm just I'm just tired of hearing it. I really am. Like fucking mental health problems. That's why you want to go shoot up a school. Fuck out of here. Um, moving on real quick. You're gonna like this, Claw. Dame Dash is finished. <laughs> So, apparently, Dame Dash and 50 are beefing for whatever reason, right? And Dame was talking crazy on his IG, on his live, right? I don't know if you saw this, Solid Assassin and Jimmy. But, so, Dame Dash is talking crazy. Hey, 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 pull up. His own. We, we can do that. Talking tough, like how Dame normally does, right? And while he's talking, guess what happens? His dentures fall out his face. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Yo. Man, dentures fell out of his fucking face. And yo, he told whatever shorty was there. He said, yo, <laughs> help me. Help me. <laughs> Yo, you see the camera go off screen. Yo, holy shit. Holy shit, he better not ever show his face again. <laughs> I thought it was a Invisalign, though. Yo, nah. The whole rack came out. Oh, that's crazy. The whole rack came out of his mouth. Those weren't braces and <laughs> Yo, you know what? I ain't gonna hold you. The Harlem is two for two for bad teeth. Who? Jewel's. Oh, but but Joel shit never came out of his mouth yeah, like that. Joel's got that. He talks like I get it, but he's holding it in. But yeah, that's, that's why he saying. probably turned. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, damn. Yo, man. they got it. It's, look, it's looking bad for Harlem, man. <laughs> look, they, look. If it's if it's if it's one thing to beef with Fifty, right? But don't give him ammo. That the further go in on you now, like yo. Yo, that you know, had you know, me 50, crying. Fifty, the type to be like, yo, I give you a million dollars if you go out there and smile with no. <laughs> no <teeth. laughs> Word, be like, yo, I know you down bad, yo. Here's an M. Just go out there and go and go gumming up. Yeah, smile with no teeth. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, game is getting interesting over here. Twenty four nineteen, Philly. AJ Brown. Just AJ Brown just 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 let it loose. Yeah. Oh, and he and he took it to the house on Jair Alexander too. Mm-hmm. Bum. He looked gas. Bum. He lit he lit up my goddamn Cowboys last season in the playoffs. It's, you know I just don't even talk about it. But yeah, they, yo, listen. If you ever seen somebody's career end on IG Live, you just saw it today. <laughs> There is no reason for anybody to get to listen. He may be calling people to like do interviews after this. I don't know if he's gonna get no hits because, like, bro, that's it's bad. It's up, bro. That's just bad, that man. Was the look, like, that was the yeah. look. That, could, that was two things in one. That was your moment that you needed to right to get, get to get back. right. That might have been it. That's right. And, and it went there. That shit went bad. Yo, let me ask you a question. This is worse than Jaru? Ja Rule with the with the Nuggets game or the the Bucks game? Yeah, just just in, in general how how his career just kind of is it worse? What what is worse than this? What, what, from an encounter from with 50. Who had the worst one? From an encounter with 50. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. And it's not it's just bad timing, but um, I'm gonna say with 50. Nah, it's not worse than Ja. Yeah, not worse than Ja. Ja is just, and it's still on site no matter what. It's and still, it'll still buy the front row of your concert to right. nobody's in front. <laughs> like it's just like that's on forever. That's crazy. Irv Gotti's, I heard like has you know he's sick, and 
Piff is just going off. Like, it's just bad. It's, he got he got no chill. But man. The, I mean, the Dame shit is just you know what it is is whack business because he got done dirty. The, yeah, Jay did him dirty, bro. Yeah, there's just no way around it. Yeah, so. for him, for him, for for him to even be in a position like this, like it, right. this should never be. You know 100%. what I'm saying? This is just so petty. Like. Yeah, but yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. I I I, I tried to keep a straight face. I did, but yo, <laughs> that shit fell out of his mouth. I don't know. Curtains. That's it. That's it. After the break, we're gonna talk about some uh, Thursday night football. Briefly, you know, go talk about this game right here and then preview the upcoming weekend of NFL football. Yo, it's your man DJ G Money from that Flip the Script podcast. Yeah, 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 we in the yeah, studio yeah. right now. Flip shut up. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, listen, whoa. shout out to the Old Even Podcast, my oh, man Barry oh, Grant Jr. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, man? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? What you, what you want to say to the people? Shout out somebody else's podcast? Yeah, my man is the joint. What's up? Oh, even. Oh, even podcast. Yo, they even up here, boy. <laughs> we put this girl something. Oh, even. Yo, you. Oh, my God. What's up with you, man? Now, you got well, that's a shot of you keeping this? Yeah, keep all that. <laughs> you want your podcast? All even podcast, right? Yeah, all shout even. Shout out to all even podcast, right? Yeah. All even. Uh, that's your man? My man. Fine. All right, shout out to all even podcast. You cool? 100%. He cool. Is he? he cool? Let me see. Is he cool? Yeah. Oh, let me see. Oh. Oh. I said, what, G? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. So let's go ahead and discuss Thursday night football. Look, it set a viewership record. There were like 29.8 million people that watched this game. It's crazy. That's a good game to start with. It's a really good game. Really two two good teams. Both teams were in the AFC Championship game, obviously. So it's a rematch of that, right? Um, 27-20, Chiefs win at home, uh, but the game really hung in the balance in the last few, few, you know, last minute of the game, man. You had Isaiah Likely potentially catching the game-tying touchdown at the end of, regula- of regulation, 0-0, and that toe was on the line. Like, that Kevin Durant toe was on the line. It's crazy. It was one of the, one of the best not non-finishes in football that we've seen in recent memory. But, you know, shouts to both teams. They played well. I, I think Pat Mahomes was a little shaky early, uh, had an interception that he shouldn't have had in the first half, was really a bad decision, but ended up, you know, uh, settling down in the second half. Uh, the kid, Xavier, what, what's his name? Xavier, worthy. Uh, was it? Worthy. Worthy. Xavier Worthy. He's not Tyreek Hill. But he's fast. He's fast. He's fast. He's a weapon. He can be able to be utilized. But Tyreek Hill is a different, different beast. Like, you know, there will ne- I, I don't know if there'll ever be another Tyreek Hill. But this kid, he has gadget ability. You can be able to to put him in space and figure out how to be able to utilize him. And I know Andy Reid is going to be able to utilize him. Um, you had uh Rasheed Rice, he had a good game. Um who else? Um you had Pacheco, he he, he had his touchdown, but my issue was that Derrick Henry was signed, right? Didn't really look effective in that game. Outside of the first drive where he got the touchdown, I think Kansas City really neutralized him throughout the day. And obviously, you know, Lamar Jackson had a big game on the ground. I think he rushed for like 122 yards. He's third all time now with, with QB rushing, r- rushing yards, um, whatever that means. Um but the problem that I see with Lamar Jackson is always the same thing. It's accuracy. It's, it's clutch time accuracy. Clutch time situations. He still doesn't have it. And for a guy to win two MVPs in his career and not possess those particular attributes kind of, kind of leaves it like, eh. You know what I mean? Like, how do you feel about about Lamar Jackson? I mean, well, yesterday he went what sixteen carries, one hundred twenty two yards, no touchdowns. Realistically, you know, it's not something that you know it, you're not surprised. You get there for his legs. He's there for his legs. That's what gets him. That's what keeps him right in you know conversation. But how? But how long can you be able to do this? Well, that's the thing. In the process, you know, not everybody is a Michael Vick. 
You know, right. Michael Vick had a cannon. He did. Super cannon. But, but even but, Michael Vick had his struggles being quarterback. Yeah, in jail. <laughs> like, realistically, like, nobody... He came to the justice. He could, you know what I mean? He was old at that point, though. Exactly. We, we gave him his, you know, his... his um. We signed the papers at, at whatever jail he was in to get him out. So 27, 24, Green Bay. No, 26, 24? 25. Oh, 24, 20, 25, 25. 24. Okay. So, um, you know, realistically, I'll say that in this process of, okay, I got to slow it down. I think bringing in a Derrick Henry will work because you, you're not going to know where to go. The options are going to be so much more better. I feel like their problem is the offensive line ain't as strong as it could be. To have a Derrick Derrick Henry, in my opinion. I mean that that could be a, that could be a, a factor as well. I mean, listen, we're not giving the Chiefs a lot of credit defensively. They're they're a beast. Yeah, we never do though. But they, their they defense are. over the last few seasons has been really really good. But you slept I mean? on, huh? Slept on. But not. I don't think last year. I think the year prior to that, yes. But last year's defense was not slept on. They were a top five defense last year. So um, so yeah, I, I think it was a good game, and I. I that obviously there's not much to take away from a first game. It was a good showing for both teams. A um, little bit more high scoring than I thought it would be. Um, you know, 27-20, I didn't, I didn't really think it was going to get that high. It's not that that high, but for a first game, you know, I expected a little bit more of a struggle. But, um, you know, Pat Mahomes is Pat Mahomes. He, he's a guy that will struggle a little bit. We've seen that over the last few seasons. And then he can find that that giddy up and that that clutch moment to be able to rise to the occasion. That's why he's the best in the game, and that's why a guy like Lamar Jackson he, he may get a another five or five or ten MVPs, whatever whatever the fuck it is. But you don't have that type of clutch gene. That's why Mahomes got the three titles, and you ain't get past a certain level level in the playoffs. And that's my thing with Lamar is that okay, cool. He is talented. He can run. He has these abilities, but you need to show that you have that that last step to be a real, real great franchise quarterback. Um, moving on to the game that's going on right now. Friday night's a great night for football. We have the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles going at it. Both teams are wearing green, though. I thought they wasn't supposed to wear green. Well, one's wearing white. Yeah, but they got green on, though. So? You can't wear green in Brazil? Nah. It's gang, gang affiliation. I mean, the gangs aren't there. They're not there. Gangs is there, fam. I mean, how they're not going to wear those colors? Yeah, they got They have those. Uh, what, what do you call those jerseys? The um, the green ones. No, the ones that they have, like the all white joints or the the. I, I can't. What what do they call them? Color rush. They don't do that shit no more, bro. Well, they need to do something. Okay. Don't get choices. these don't get these NFL players agree. kidnapped in Brazil. Everybody's gonna make it out there safe. Don't get them kidnapped in Brazil. They're getting right, right on the plane. They shot press all week. They sh- they're out of here. You know, you know what else the NFL the plane's players gonna leave from the fucking field. You, you know what else the NFL players gotta be careful about too. Right? That? Oh, let me just press this. You got to blank this out. This is they're out there. What you can't say that. Huh? You can't say that. I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I'll blank it out. But they're going to know what you said. No, they're not. <laughs> they are not. They, they got to worry about that, though. They do. They do. They, if this is out, the capital for it. You know that, right? I mean, Bangkok is pretty. They, they up there, too. But they, they, they just as bad out here. New York is pretty. Not compared to them. Atlanta is very not compared to them though. How do you know this? I've heard. Heard from who? People that have gone out there. And what did they say? They said it's it's kind of bad. They are. No, <laughs> we got them. <laughs> I didn't go. <laughs> now your man, your man said it was bad. You gotta watch your man's mouth to mouth. Ma- oh my god, I'm not gonna repeat you. <laughs> Oh man! So, what have we learned so far from this game, uh, Claw? I'm gonna tell you that Green Bay, they ain't they ain't lose an inch of sleep Yo. since Aaron Rodgers been gone. Yo, they ain't skip a beat. We are who they thought we are, bro. Got him. Ooh. 
sack on 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 uh, yeah, Jalen Hurts. Hurts. Yo, the defense be getting through though. Yeah, they I be mean, look, through I, I don't think that this this Philadelphia Eagles team is that good. I don't think that Jalen Hurts is that good. I've been saying that from day one. I just I think he's overrated. I think Jordan Love is way better. I agree than Jalen Hurts. You know, he he's he's a really solid quarterback, man. He's one of my dark horses for MVP this year. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Green Bay Packers uh, get out of here with a victory because they, they're a really, really good bunch. Um, so 26-24 right now, third quarter, 10 minutes to go. Uh, you know, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty neck and neck game. Nick Sirianni, the idiot, is over there, and uh, we, we got to figure it out. You, you know what's crazy about the Philadelphia Eagles? The fact that they have Kellen Moore as their offensive coordinator. This is why they're going to be bad. Kellen Moore is over there, and he's a guy that just – he has one of those vanilla style offenses, very boring, very bland. There's no, there's no pizzazz to their offense. So, um, yeah, what was that Jaden Reed? That kid is good, man. Fast as hell too. Good pickup. Yeah, he he lit the Cowboys up last year in the playoffs. I got them in two leagues. Utah, give me two, two. All right. So we will come back. We will update this game as it's going along. But right now, Green Bay is up two points. Jimmy, the super intern, pull up the schedule for us for the weekend. What are we looking at? You got new glasses? I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> How do you not know that you got new glasses, like, Jimmy? I got new glasses at some point. I don't know if it was like a month ago or like five months ago. <laughs> I think it was like five months ago. Unbelievable. It's a blur. All right. So we have a full slate of games. Um, A thousand games Sunday. Yeah, definitely a thousand games. Um, (laughs) Minus two. Facts. Or three, actually. Cardinals, Bills. Bills are at home. Um, What is the line? Bills are minus six and a half. How's that game go, Chloe? I got faith in the Cardinals. So you're taking the over? Yeah. Take are you taking the over 47.5? Sure thing. Okay. Uh Bengals, Patriots. Bengals are at home. Bengals are minus seven and a half. Yeah, I I like that. Pa- Patriots are the worst team in football. Yeah. They're the worst team in football right now. Um, I want to see what Joe Burrow has. I want to see if he can be able to stay healthy. Also, too, that uh Jamar Chase is day to day, they said. Got it, gonna be a game time decision. I don't know what you think is you think it's contract related. He's just like, man, man, this knee's all banged I, up. I, 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 call I don't it the think McCaffrey. I want to play, fam. It's the McCaffrey on the on the Panthers. Yeah. Oof, oof, oof. I'm hurt. Oof, oof. But they are they are my Trade dark horse team to get to the Super Bowl. So I am look I'm gonna be watching that game very, very closely. Uh Silent Assassin, your team is up. Vikings at Giants. Giants are at home. Vikings are minus one and a half on the road. Go ahead, explain. How how do you feel that your dreadful Giants are going to do? I think we're going to kill it. (laughs) (laughs) She's so blind. (laughs) So just the the great analysis by Nicole the Silent Assassin. Um, Listen, Sam Darnold comes back to New York, right, against the Giants in the stadium that he's familiar with, right? I, I think the Vikings win this game. He's going to go take a dump. In the old toilet he used to use. And guess what? He ain't wiping. Because he's coming to wipe the floor with you guys. You know what you call you know you call that type of poop when you when you 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 poop and you don't wipe? It's called a Zach Wilson. Oh yeah. 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 (laughs) It's called Zach Wilson. Um so yeah, I I think I listen, outside of the quarterback, I think the Vikings have better skill positions, obviously, right? Sure. I think their running backs are a little better, slightly. The wide receivers, obviously, are better. Um, you think you give them the nod head coaching-wise, or you, you give the, the head coaching nod to uh, Dable? No, I'm going to give it to the, the Vikings. To the Vikings? I mean, listen, like... Defense? I don't know what the Giants improved. I think they might have went defense heavy in the... you just shaking your head. Yeah. <laughs> She just wants me to agree she, with the Giants. I won't do it. <laughs> Vikings are better. Facts. Oh, somebody got blew him up. 
I want to know with um, but I do want to see what the offense is going to look like. I want to see what these wide receivers, Jalen Hyatt and Malik and, Neighbors. Yeah, I want to see what that's going to look like for yeah. sure. I think that's something, and I want to see how Singletary works in the back. I mean, uh, backfield. I don't know. It's much of a difference. I just want to see what they can do because they're due for it. And, He's always been a bridesmaid. And Daniel Jones can. Captain Small Hands ain't doing a damn yeah, thing. I can't, I can't do it. He's not doing nothing. I can't do it. She's editing the video. Yeah, exactly. She took all this she, shit she out. blanking all of that out. All this shit. <laughs> Cutting all of this out. And, you know? re, and re-editing our voices. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Jones is the man. He's going to kill it. It's a bad Asian edit, right? <laughs> <laughs> My oh, mouth is saying man. some whole other shit. He's going to kill bad it. Bad Asian dub over. Um, we got Titans at Bears. Uh, Caleb Williams is at home against, uh, what's his name? Levi. Will yeah, Levis. Will Levis. Levis. Who you got? The Bears. The Bears. You know, I mean, the only thing that can make this thing sweeter is the Bears D being good. Bears D. And I think that if the offense is cooking, I think the defense is gonna be all right too. Yeah, I mean, look, man, I'm curious to see what this kid has, man. He's special. I'm a big USC fan. I saw the kid for two years. I've said this, you know, all the talent in the world can make every every throw. I just want to see if he's mature enough to be able to handle the stage if he can then he's going to be a superstar there's there's no doubt about it he's already the best quarterback they've ever had so you know it's 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 sky's the limit for this kid if he can be able to have the mental capacity to be able to withstand all the pressure that that's that's going to be in front of him hell yeah uh panthers saints yeah yeah so you got the what spread time is, is minus four that's a 1 p.m game on Ooh. fox uh, Panthers are one of the worst teams of football as well. I, I I got the Panthers losing. Obviously, the Saints winning big. Derek Carr and those wide receivers that they got over there, Olave, uh, I mean Raheem Shahid, um, Kamara, if he can stay healthy, they still have a lot of good pieces over there. Not really well coached, but I like the team anyway to be able to get this dub. Steelers and Falcons. Fact that Russell Wilson, the fraud, is 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 what is he day to day? Is he playing? Is he not playing? Uh, they said he's questionable with the calf. Oh Didn't my. he have that calf His last whole year? His career at this point is questionable. He had that calf last year, no? He had I don't know. Um, I think it's just really a shamble. I think they're really going to try to put what's the name Fields. Field, they need to. I think they need to just commit. Just to be Fields. bad with Fields. Be bad with Fields so you can be able to go ahead and and, and, and just draft make the quarterback. a transition for sure. Yeah. But um, I think. Steelers, man. This is no matter what you do, Atlanta. They're not. I don't think it's gonna be there yet. Yeah, but I think it'll be a good game, though. Well, here's the thing, and I said it last week. Solomon says, "What did I say?" Mike Tomlin drags more dead bodies to the playoffs than any coach I've ever seen. It don't matter who's the quarterback. It don't matter who's on defense. It don't matter who's running the football. The man is going to drag the team to the playoffs. So all. Bum-ass Wilson has to do is just be serviceable. Don't turn the ball over a ton. Don't think you're going to be a hero. Just run the football, throw the ball anywhere between 19 and 23 times a game, and the Steelers should be fine. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, he doesn't have much left. He really doesn't. He couldn't move the offense in preseason. He couldn't move the offense in practice. He's washed. He is. Moving on, I mean, are we talking about Steelers? Um, I mean, uh, the Falcons. I, I want to see how Cousins plays. Um, they have a lot of weapons over there. Um, Kyle Pitts is a little banged up, but I'm curious to see how that team is going to be. I want to see how the camera because everybody is dubbing them. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna win this out. They're gonna da, da, da. okay. I need to see how they play. Jaguars and Dolphins. Nah, I'm not rooting for Blue Jack Horseman. I'm going. I'm going Dolphins all the way. Um, Dolphins uh, are, are minus three and a half at home. Yeah, but I don't know what they look like. I mean, as far as like wide receiver, um, it's still, it's still the same guys. They got Christian Kirk over there. They got Calvin Ridley. I thought. I thought Kirk. No, Ridley left. No, nope. he's still there. All right. So, and then you got Bo Jack Horseman. Not a fan. I like them. I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Jaguars. Okay, I got Dolphins, Texans, and Colts. 
like a Texans, bro. <laughs> Everybody's drinking the Kool-Aid for the Texans. Hell yeah. They love they, they love like CJ Stroud. Stroud. They love, you know, um That's a division game too, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's an AFC South game. So I'm gonna say I'm definitely saying Texas. It's gonna be a probably a shootout, maybe, but I got the Colts, man. I I think the kid Richardson is gonna come back and and pick up where he left off. He was really good last year. Okay. Before he got hurt, he was he was turning some heads, man. So, um, I think I I, I like the what the Colts still have. Obviously, they still have Jonathan Taylor the running back. Their defense is still pretty good. So yeah, I got them. Uh, Raiders and Chargers. This is easy. Give me the Chargers because Raiders. Is, uh, well, well, they do have my man. My man, uh, what was his name? Gardner Minshew. I can never root against Gardner Minshew. Man, I, I like him as a quarterback. You know what I'm going to say? Raiders because Chargers, they are, they just until they prove me wrong, they're going to choke in the fourth. Come on, bro. They got Harbaugh. They're gonna choke. This is different. I hope so. Harbaugh. Okay? I hope so. I hope so. Harbaugh. Uh, Broncos, Seahawks. I'm going Broncos. I think that kid Bo Nix. He got I want, something. I want to see. I want to see. Bo that Nicks game. look. He he looked pretty good. I want to see that game and see yeah. what it comes out to. Commanders Bucks. I got Baker. I like. I like the Commanders. I want to see what they do. I'm excited. What Jaden Daniels? Yeah, I want to see what it looks like together with Eckler back there as well as um um my man Terry McLaurin. Like, just, just, he's McLaurin, doing. You got Robinson. That's what I'm saying. They got pieces over yeah, there. We'll see. Rams Lions. That's that's a good game. That's a good game. It's a damn good game. Ah, I gotta see. Isn't that the um AFC? The NFC. No, that's not a division. But you not got me. one team that's in the, the in the playoffs. Wasn't that in the playoffs? Was it? I think it was. I feel like, I, I feel I like it remember. was the game in the playoffs. But Rams and Lions. I I, I got the I'm a Rams fan. I, I I'm going Rams. I, 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 like I go the Lions, Rams, man. I like the I got, Rams. I got to see what the Lions. I like Puka Nakua. I like I like them boys over there, man. They they are very talented. Um, Cowboys and Browns. Mm. Browns are at home. Mm. I picked the Cowboys to win. Uh, on the show that I was shouts to the Cowboys camp fan. I was on their show on Wednesday. I got the Cowboys winning twenty. What did I say? Twenty four twenty. I got the Browns. You got the Browns? Yeah. Defensively, I mean, listen, I don't know if we're going to be able to stop fucking, um, what's my man's name? Defensive player of the year, Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett. Like, we got we got a rookie over there, Tyler Guyton. He he may eat his ass for lunch. Pause. Um, and then we got the Jets and 49ers on Monday night. How you feel? Bro, come on. How do you feel? Jets, bro. I I understand you picking the Jets, but why? Because not just because you're a homer. I need to know why. I'm a what? Homer. Oh. Um. Homer. H O M E R. Homer. Simpson. I get it. Yeah. Because I know what you heard. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> heard. It. Everybody's looking around uncomfortable. You already called the people to treat the T. Stop word. it. Um. I'm gonna say this. The Jets. Are coming with the the same defenses last year, yeah, minus two pieces, but we'll see what that looks like. And more so, I don't know if that Forty Nine ers team is the same as it used to be. They're uh, a little, they're they're getting a little long in the tooth, and and I can tell you in regards to the Forty Nines, we spoke about this last week, is that they have a lot of guys that are making a lot of money, mm-hmm. and that bill is gonna come due very soon. So if they don't cash in this year, or maybe the year after. That's it. They're going to have to blow this thing up. So there's right. a lot of pressure on the 49ers to win this Super Bowl. And they haven't won it. And they haven't won it. So, But I'm definitely curious to see how the, how the Jets bounce back. Um, that's it for the previews. You know, I definitely want to see how this goes. But, man, football is back. You know, the fact that I see my, my good buddy, his, the, the, the gleam is in his eye again. You know, Claw can be happy. You know, there's no, he doesn't care about baseball. He doesn't care about boxing. He doesn't care about mixed martial arts. He doesn't care about none of these things. He cares about some football. Big time. Big time. Big time. After the break, my irrelevant news of the week. Yo, this is Cigar Jensen Gals. I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Barry for all even podcast. Keep doing your thing, bro. Killing it. 
Welcome back, y'all. We are back. The game between the Packers and Eagles are in the third quarter. Uh, was it a little over five minutes left to go? Green Bay still up 26 24. Eagles are threatening on the 25 yard line of the Packers. First down. Just got a first down. So, um, I can, I can do play by play. Yeah, yeah it's kind of dry. That shit was fire. Don't yeah. don't hate. Don't do that. It's how you use. Like, that's 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 hate. When you started your show and you used to read it, that's hate. When you first started, the that's hate, bro. I'm just keeping it real. That's hate. That's what it sounded like. Like I sound like Al Michaels just now. Don't do that. No, no, you don't. Yes, I did. That's why. That's how Al Michaels does it. Sound like Barry White. That's fire, though. <laughs> yeah, not in football. That's fire. Okay. Try it again. No. <laughs> now it's time for my irrelevant news of the week. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, how do you watch the I mean yeah, they stink. We ain't gonna waste no time here. No time. Uh Xavier Bob Duda what what was it? Babudar? Yeah, aka Chief Saholic gets 17 years for the robberies. Y'all heard about this? The mascot? <laughs> It's crazy. Admitted to stealing more than eight hundred thousand dollars in eleven robberies across seven states and laundering the the proceeds. Uh, yeah, the laundering the proceeds through casinos. He pleaded guilty to one count of bank robbery, one count of money laundering, and one count of transporting stolen property across state lines. My thing is this. Where's the vetting process for you to be working? So, so anybody can just work for the NFL? Is that the case? Yo, you want to be a mascot? Don't, it don't matter what your background is. You can just, just be a mascot? That's crazy. Is it, though? Of course, your criminal ass will, 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 no, will co-sign that. I'm just saying. The fucking guys in a mascot costume. You know how much they're getting paid? Yeah. I don't actually. I Them don't. dudes get paid. All right, well, not enough because he's still doing bullshit. Because he just won't do bullshit. And That's like people that that, that work at uh, what do you call it? They work at Best Buy and they over here got the truck in the back at at at, at eleven o'clock. If District manager stealing all this, <laughs> stealing all the the electronics. Come on, son. They gonna catch you. There's a paper trail. They gonna get you. If they don't know what you look like with the mask off. They won't find you in the costume. That is a good point. <laughs> that is a good point. But I'm just saying what a vetting process is because this, this dude was a crook before. He had a job with, the, Bro, with Kansas Jeeps. City. There's a lot of crooks out there. What you mean? Of course. Exactly that. So what are you trying to say? That they, they, they didn't have a lot to pick from? What are you going to get? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last guy robbed the, robbed the a deli. This guy. But no, no essays, right? Oh yeah, it's good. No, no gang of Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Mister, how many Mister Munis you got? I know you got one, three. Fine. Anything Come. to get canceled? No, you're good. Fine. Come on. Yeah, it's. But yeah, that's that's crazy. Seventeen years. Is it worth it? Now, if you had a chance to be able to have access or get a hold of eight hundred thousand dollars. But it does come with the risk of serving 17 years in jail if you get caught. Would you take the risk? That was no shot. Uh, 800, I feel like it's obviously a lot of money, but not a lot of money. Right. Like, I wouldn't have to have, like... You still have to work. Of millions. Yeah. Or, like, to even, like, think about that. Because I only find it, like, worth it. Like, I can get this money, but spend... 20 years of in prison. Like, I don't think it's worth it. You got to see what you look like in the sweatsuit first. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of jail. And you got to find out where you're going. Facts. I, wanna, I would rather live my life than potentially live a better life, I guess, with money. But here's the other part of it, too. If I had a family and there was 800 racks out there and there was a potential of me going to jail if I get bagged, so I'm like, all right. I steal this eight hundred thousand, buy a house, <laughs> and put my family up in it. They are gonna be good. So I just I gotta serve this seventeen years. I come back out to a nice crib. Let's do it. My family gonna be lit for 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 about seventeen years. What, what's up? They'll steal it. 
They'll seize it. I'm they sure. won't. They would. Okay? Seize it. Yeah, they won't seize that. They'll seize it. We're going to be in Mexico. They, they'll get you too. <laughs> <laughs> they'll send the other guys down there. They'll send Interpol to get me? <laughs> Interpol, yes. Interpol. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's it's a risk, man. I, I see I see the the both sides of the spectrum, but that that's too little bit of money and there's too too great a risk of of getting bagged for that. Um moving on. Moving on. This story right here. This is why I saved it for last. This this one is good. Really, really good. The OG Batman, Adam West, allegedly slept with so many women in Aspen, Colorado, that the city banned him from returning for 15 years. Yo, you talk about casting over Frankenstein? The man was out there ripping and running. And he was like, yo, listen, you running through everything in here? There's no way we can let you come back for a while. That's hate. That's hate. Like, like, did did he 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 might have he might have took down the the mayor the mayor's yeah. Um, no one's like you're not hearing the story though. What he ain't pull out of nothing, bro. All right. So it's his whole family. He is the West. This is the Coast. '60s. So what? Like they're the whole all gene pool is gonna be it's all all, him. They told you don't come back, fam, on. because they're all related to you, bro. <laughs> Everybody's related to the Mr. West, Mr. West. Yo, I'm telling you. Man is a legend. Okay. No, he's a legend, all right. He's Batman. He's doing a bat toosie. And, and then he exactly he was a bat in him. Yeah, he damn sure was. You ever seen that that meme where there's like everybody in the '60s Batman looked like they was uh, leaving like after orgy or some shit like that, like an orgy party? You see the outfits? It's a bar. It was going down. It was going down, definitely. Oh, who scored that last touchdown? Saquon. Saquon. Really? Thirty-one twenty-six Philadelphia. Saquon. The the Brick River. I didn't see it. What, what happened? It was a touchdown. Yeah. What did he do to get the touchdown? He ran through a bunch of people. He ran it. Was a fifty yarder? Goal line. Oh, goal line. Okay. You think that Saquon thing's gonna work out? I see it working. It's, right the, now. it's the first game. I'm. You got to talk about yeah, long term. I'll tell you right now. I know who it's not working out for. The fucking Giants. Jeez. I seen that that footage and the guy's like so just, awkward, I, right? I just, hope, I just hope he doesn't go somewhere to division. Who's the owner? Do 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 do. Saquon goes to Philly. <laughs> Yo, how do you keep your job as a GM after that, though? <laughs> you got to be fired, bro. You have to be fired. Like, I don't understand that. It's gross. It's gross, bro. Like, that's the one thing you don't do. The Jets did it. And we lost Revis. Revis to the Patriots. To the Patriots. And he well, went, I mean, you, he went to the Bucks first, though. He did. He did. He did. He did. Yeah. Oh, somebody got hurt? Yeah, hand. Yeah, so I respect my man Adam West. I don't care what you're talking about. The man was out there. I respect him too. He slinging was... it, running it, doing it, and people was hating on him. Don't do that. Listen, Let him do what he wants to they do. They had to protect. He's the, a star. The the culture. If not, it would just not work. He's a star. He was, and his star was shining, bro. Took down everything in Aspen, Colorado. Everything. Church ladies, food food preparers. You know, taxi cab Ooh, drivers, uh, lunch ladies, all of them. All of them. That's how you do it. If I was a movie star and single, why? I, 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 yes. Sling it all over the place. What, what are you supposed to do? Not sling it all over the place? No. Okay. No. It's the 60s. Would you sling it all over the place in Brazil? I would not. Okay. It's a great run right there. Yeah, good one. Josh Jacobs is back on. Josh Jacobs on the Green Bay package. That just it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't feel good. It really doesn't. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do it in Brazil. I wouldn't do it in Brazil. Atlanta, I wouldn't do it. Um San Francisco I wouldn't do it. Vegas? I wouldn't do it in Vegas either. Vegas is dirty. Um, but yeah, shouts to Adam West. Thailand? No. That's no. 
I see what you're trying to do. Nah, man. I see what you're trying to do. Not me. That was my irrelevant news of the week. You got to be kidding me. I mean, how do you watch the... I mean, yeah, they stink. A couple of basketball stories here real quick because there's not much to talk about. Shaq was on a podcast and was asked a question. I think it was for Complex. He was asked a question, who he thinks the worst NBA player is currently. And Shaq said that it was Rudy Gobert and it was Ben Simmons. And his rea- his response was, or the reason his reasoning was the fact that Ben Simmons took all the money. And anytime you get paid a certain amount of money, you have to find a way to live up to that contract. You got to go overtime. He said, yo, I worked my ass off for the 120 I got from the Lakers. I made sure that they earned that I earned every penny and they didn't think that, you know, they were shortchanged or it was buyer's remorse. Like I I worked my ass off for that 120. That this dude's these dudes out here getting 250 and they can't do nothing. Like if you were to get asked that question, Claw, who do you think is the worst player in the NBA? Ben Simmons is up there for me. Um No, nah, Ben Simmons. I don't think he's done anything at all. And then I would go with fucking James Harden because I just can't stand James Harden. All right. But I feel like, you know, none of that shit matters and they don't go nowhere. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm spot on. I think I'm, I agree with Shaq. I think Rudy Gobert is one of the most overrated basketball players Rudy I've Gobert. ever seen come into the NBA. Like, the man has four defensive players of the years and he constantly gets worked out. He constantly gets ass buzzed. He got his ass buzzed in the Olympics. He gets his ass buzzed by good plays in the NBA, but yeah, he still gets defensive play of the year. How? This is why sometimes, like in, in regards to awards and stuff like that, you gotta you can't really put much stock into certain things because it all depends on who the hell is actually on these committees that are that are having these votes. Like, dude, this guy has more defensive play of the years than some great defensive players that have played in the league for years. Like, Ben Wise ain't got four of them things, does he? Well, I don't think Draymond got four of them things. I don't think Dennis Rodman got four of them things. So it's like, come on now. And the man can't score. Shoot like Andrew. <laughs> shoot like, he shoot like Andrew Reese. Get out of here. Get a game. You've been in the league almost 13 years. Get a game. Uh, ben Wallace, Dikembe Mutombo, and Rudy Gobert. Only ones that got four, right? Four, yeah. There's been other great players. Hakeem Olajuwon. Great Mark, defensive player. Marcus Smart. Giannis. Kawhi. Dwight Howard. Oh, he's going. Is that Saquon again? Oh, yeah, he's killing him. Uh-oh. Uh, how does it feel? Uh-oh. How and the fact that he got the same number on that's dirty. Oh, how about this? The fact that he's down the road on 9 95. That shit has to suck. Dang, y'all had one job. One job. Don't let him go there. And he said, I'm gonna see y'all twice a year. That's crazy. I can't wait to come. But yeah, going back. This this bum ass, bum ass Negro, he, he he's never been good. Never been good. I don't care. I don't care what nobody wanna tell me about Rudy Gobert. He's never been good. Never been good. It's the reason why Donovan Mitchell left. This is the same COVID spreader. Remember what you, you, you ever seen the video? Man. You over here touching everything? His dumb ass. Ruin the whole it, bro, ruin the world. Ruin the whole league. Killed the world. <laughs> whole league had to crash down because of Rudy Gobert. But yo, you got a LeBron championship out of it, so shut your mouth. I did. Shut your mouth. I did. Shut your mouth. I did, but it don't, it don't matter though. He's a terrible basketball player. Nothing that Rudy Gobert does is good. He's not good. But the, but yet the NBA rewards a guy like that. Anthony Davis should have been a defensive player of the year this year. He probably got blackmail on somebody. Rudy Gobert. And ben, everybody knows how I feel about Ben Simmons. He's the biggest criminal in NBA history. The hit, There's no bigger criminal than Ben Simmons in NBA history. 
I start tomorrow the next. He played. True. That first year, Stoudemire was up. He had New York lit that first year. After even the second year, he's playing. After that, eh, got dicey. This dude, he hasn't played in like three seasons. And every time he got an off-season workout, somebody's posting a picture of Ben Simmons. Oh, off-season loading. No, it's not. It's AOL dial-up. That's what it is. It ain't loading nothing. It ain't 5G. It's still going to stay there. Like the old-ass PlayStations. Remember <laughs> back in the day? That loading screen used to take dumb long. That's Ben Simmons. Bum ass. Moving on. Moving on. Um, Denver Nuggets are in trouble. There's some rumor out there that Mike Malone and the Denver Nuggets management are not seeing eye to eye on roster changes. Oh. So that same dude that was talking all that shit saying how great the Denver Nuggets are and they're the Lakers' daddy and all this other stuff, making excuses for why they lost in the playoffs, talking about people are tired and blah, 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 all that shit. No, now you're not happy with the roster. Look, you got your championship. Take your championship and go down the fucking road. Stop crying. Stop making excuses because at the end of the day, you had a good run and... Everybody gets a championship. Everybody can have that particular time in the sun. But at some point, you got to rebuild the team and you have to restructure. And maybe guys got to go. Head coach, star player, co-star, whoever it is, these guys possibly have to go. That's just the way it is. You can't keep a team together all the time. Go, what do you think about that? I mean, it's very true. You got to break it up. It's, it's very hard to keep a team together like... Listen, Golden State kept their core together for quite some time, but that's not that's not common. Like, you you got to end up, um, you know, finding a way to kind of rebuild on the fly. Jokic ain't going away. We know that. But Mike Malone might. It should have been something they've been doing. That we got to like start filtering in the other options. Yeah, because the same shit ain't gonna work all the time. And on top of that, too, here's why I know. Here's why I know. I know Mike Malone is mad. This report is very, very interesting to me. The reason why it's interesting is because you never saw any of this stuff leak out before. But what happened recently? Claude, what has transpired with the Denver Nuggets recently? No, no idea. I don't follow. Silent Assassin, do you know? No, you don't know either. I'll tell you. Russell Westbrook is on the Denver Nuggets now. Okay? Got waved and cut by the damn Clippers. They didn't want his ass no more, right? They couldn't fit. He begs to go on the Denver Nuggets. All of a sudden now there's a report saying that Mike Malone's not happy. What gave it away? What gave it away? He's like, yo, I got to coach this dude. I'm out. We got to talk. We got to restructure some stuff. I got to deal with him? Nah. Nah, just the way it is. I understand his pain. For me to have to coach that guy after coaching Jokic to a championship, what are y'all doing to me? I was up here a couple of years ago. You give me this? That's the thanks I get for giving you a championship, this guy? So Mike Malone, I told you, karma's a hell of a thing, man. Karma's a hell of a thing. Just when you thought you were high and you were on your pedestal, Russell Westbrook comes with his bricks to throw. <laughs> Westbrook comes and throws those bricks at you. So it's just the way it goes. Just the way it goes. Moving on to the greatest segment on the planet, Dummy of the Week. Dummy. Yeah. Every week I go around the room and I ask, who, who is the Dummy of the Week? Claude, do you have one? Um, I have two. I forgot the first one now. But uh, if I could start with the second one, uh, myself, we're you know joining two fantasy leagues that had drafts at the same time, <laughs> but then the same day and not uh, my problem. Yeah, having a bunch of driving to do. So I was you know driving trying to draft on two phones, <laughs> um, trying to make it to the Yonkers. It was a bad time, but uh, you know I got to blame myself. I should have said no. 
And peer pressure, is, you know, is a bitch. Oh, another interception? Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm about to say. All right. Now they call the interception. Interception in the in the in the red zone. Of course, Jalen Jalen Hurts throws it. He's such a bum. Uh, I, I'm it, like, why? Look at look. He's pointing, pointing, and still throws an interception. But he was on the floor. His man was on the floor. <laughs> Yo, man was oh, look, already look, look, look. on the look at, look at Oh yeah, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was a bad idea. You're pointing. The guy falls, and you still throw it. How dumb you gotta be? Press button. Yeah. Dummy, who's your dummy? <clears throat> the other dummy? Yeah. I'm gonna go Jalen Hurts with that stupid ass play just now. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fucking. Oh bad. my god, I can't, man. I, I just don't see the 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 hype. I I don't believe it. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, he pointed it out, like pointed and still threw an interception. Yeah. <laughs> How dumb are you? Knowing Jair Alexander is still there, right? He's not he's not bad, right? It's one of those he got guys. burned by AJ Brown because AJ AJ Brown is AJ Brown, yeah. but come on now, getting burned is one thing. Like coverage is what he does. Facts, so, yeah, I don't know. Big facts. Okay. Jimmy the Super Intern, who you got? Uh, anybody who's uh, huffing on the Galaxy Gas? What is a Galaxy Gas, sir? It's like nitrous, but they got it flavored now, and they sell it like flavored it's like or nitrous. <laughs> People are just freezing their brains. So they're sauce. selling this in stores? I haven't seen it, but I mean, I've seen it online. But yeah, they sell you know, it in like smoke shops. Kanye does whippets. Ryan Garcia, this is Jay. I'm on the nitrous. I mean, that makes a lot of sense of why they behave the way they do. Mm-hmm. So, But you know what? A lot of people do it at um, Grateful Dead concerts. Just stop it. It's true. They go, true. They go to Grateful Dead concerts and you see people with a bunch of balloons. And they're doing, they take the balloon and and they fucking go to space with the Grateful Dead. Now people are just walking around. You got to see it. It looks ridiculous. It's like a big canister. Galaxy gas. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a thing. What happened to us as a society? It's over. It's been over. <laughs> I was talking to somebody. <laughs> I was talking to this, this, this young gentleman. Uh, he's like about 24 years old. Just turned twenty four, right? And we're talking about nine eleven because we're in the we're in the financial district, and he's telling me like, "So what happened?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yo, bro, uh, shit went upside down." And he's like, "That's crazy, bro. I, was, I remember that shit." I was like, "Yeah, man, you weren't you weren't there yet, bro." He's you like, weren't. "I know, man. It was wild, right?" And it was a good time. So it goes to show you, you know, say a lot of shit. Like, you don't. Know, since then, it's just been fucked up. I, I I have no confidence in the youth. Is it's that over. is that bad? It's over. I like the way they dress. <laughs> I don't. It's okay. Oh, he's going. It was a run. It's okay. Yeah, I, I I just I can't. Gen Z, they make my skin crawl. They just do. Um, silence has on you got. Um, just for hoping I get proved wrong purposes and we won't Daniel Jones. I'm no, you put, won't be proved I'm put, wrong. I'm putting the hate out so he goes off. I've been seeing he people won't. got this new girl. People are like, uh oh. She's Here bad. He comes. Is she bad? She's uh Is she bad? What was like what did I say? Kay Adam? She's an NFL it, reporter. Is she attractive? Is she bad? I don't find her attractive, but maybe she, she's ugly then. You guys That's it. <laughs> Jimmy Super in turn, go look it up. What's her name? Kay Adams? I, You've judged. Type in, type in Daniel like, Jones' girlfriend. I need to see. I need oh, to see I what this lady looks God, like. God, she's not what I think she is. Like I have a feeling she looks like a mop. <laughs> Show me, please. I need a, not a face shot. Come on, man. You gotta need to hold. You hold. It's true. You can't judge a woman like that. I'm sorry. It's ass, it's assholes. That's fine for the show. It's fine. <laughs> You got to see her. Daniel she's Jones. Yeah, I was going to say, she's very small. Small. Girlfriend. Look, it comes right up. Comes right up. Let me see. I can't get like a photo. I don't want a picture of him, bro. I can't. I'm trying. I don't, don't want to see her with him. Uh, all right. I'm going to go out on the limb and say something. There's something wrong with her. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on the limb and say something. 
the fact that he she's definitely his speed yes <laughs> the fact that he went to got himself a it's very sensitive um got himself a, a, a basic one he may end up having a very good season he didn't go get himself some some supermodel out there, right? Like like uh she, like my man um she wants to be. What's my man named? Uh Jimmy what's Jimmy G? Jimmy G, right? He not no Jimmy G. He wanted to go get himself the, the, the girl that works at Allen Garden <laughs> that, that works at Allen Garden basketball. Like that's the one that, that takes your that <laughs> takes your nice. registration at the at the desk. Yeah. Like maybe maybe he ends up having a good season. I don't I know. I think she does whippets too. She looks like the whippets <laughs> type. Does he? I think so. Yeah. That's what everyone's saying, just it's happening this year. Then what happens this year? Something ha- is gonna happen just because of this whole situation. You you are you have this blind allegiance to this team. <laughs> this I, I want to know where it comes from. I want to know where it comes from. This is like this. The, she has this Trump, <laughs> this Trump like allegiance to these Giants. It's crazy. It's crazy. I have my dummy, possibly. I think it's two of them, and I'm going to splice them together after the break. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. So my dummies, I'm gonna splice them together because they're one and the same. They share, they share a brain, same thoughts, same dummy, same idiots. May I have the drum roll, please? And the winners for Dummy of the Week, JD Vance and Donald Trump. They get my dummy. Yeah. Now. This has nothing to do with anything in regards to who you're going to vote for. Vote for whoever the fuck you want to vote for. I don't care, right? You know what side is what. People that are on this side know what's what. But here's the thing. If you want to complain about somebody that doesn't have policies, if you want to complain about somebody who doesn't do sit-down interviews, this is what they've been saying about Kamala Harris, right? She doesn't do sit down. She's reading from a teleprompter. It might behoove you to read from a teleprompter when you have these other two idiots that can't even answer a question about simple child care policies. So they asked J.D. Vance what, what his strategy would be to lower the cost of child care or help with child care. Claude, do you know what the man said? The man said that they need to find a way to have the grandparents and the uncles and and aunts to help out <laughs> with childcare. Smart. Yeah, <laughs> like it, it. Like this hasn't been <laughs> hasn't been going on for the past ninety years, right? And maybe over there, but over you know over here, everybody raises the kid. Correct. Exactly. So it might be new to the <laughs> to the whites, but not over here. Um, and then in the same breath, you had Donald Trump get asked that same question and he couldn't answer it either. So he spoke for like a good two minutes, couldn't finish a sentence, rambled on. And then it said, Hey, look, here it is. Child care is child care, right? <laughs> Everybody knows about it. So yeah, that was his answer. So how do you complain about somebody who literally tells you what they're going to do, they have a plan, and then you got somebody else that can't tell you what their plan is even eight years that have passed? We still don't know what the plans are. So I'm saying, I'm not saying that you should vote one way or the other. I'm just saying vote for intelligence. (laughs) Vote for intelligence and not vote for a dummy. Don't vote for somebody that can't tell you what they're going to do for what they're not going to do. Hey, man, you going to go to the store today? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm thinking about going to the store, but if I go to the store at 9 o'clock, uh, they might not be open until 9 on 5, and maybe I have to... Do... Bro, just answer the question. You going to the store or you not going to the store? They, they, there's not anything else I need to know. Answer the question. Child care? No child care. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do for it? How are you going to help it? And you can't even answer that question. But yet, these are the people that you want to vote for? <sighs> yeah. Dummy. Yeah. 
that's it that's all i got um tuesday is going to be a very interesting day because i think that's going to be the greatest debate of all time that they might have to put that on pay-per-view they might have to put it on pay-per-view because mad, mad people gonna watch that shit just like the thursday night football game <laughs> you gonna have millions of people tuning into that shit claw you gonna watch it uh probably not jimmy super intern you gonna watch it i might watch like pieces of it yeah it'll probably be fun Silent Assassin? Yeah, I'm probably gonna tune in. Yeah. Claude, what is the reason why you're not gonna watch it? Um, see now you're kinda of messing up my my flow of the show right now. <laughs> um, because this was gonna be my last words, but this is my last words, and this is how we're gonna do it, because you asked. Two years ago. I wanna say two years ago. A year and a half ago. They did a um a hearing and they gave proof of aliens. Yeah, that was about two years ago. No, that one that might have been last year. Uh, fucking whatever. It's ball blur, but yeah, right. it's somewhere in. in they yes. told you that the shit's real. People right. went took risk. May not even be here anymore. Might got boomed, right? And at the end of the day, regardless of who you vote for, there's still aliens, and people <laughs> don't give a fuck because shit is so fucking expensive in this country. <laughs> Let's close out the show, guys. Huh? Okay. You know what? I don't even need a PSA. I think that's pretty good. That, that's fair. Like they they literally released the records. They told you what don't happened. nobody care. They showed you the little man. Nobody cares. They don't give a fuck. Nobody cares. No one cares. There's some shit going on right now in NASA. No one gives a fuck. Right. That there was some noise that the astronaut heard, and they were just like, yeah, okay, it, sonar. Yeah. And they're like, uh, where, we're gonna try to look into that for you. Where do you get sonar from outer space from? Space whales. Let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good one um welcome back law love you jimmy the super intern i know you're gonna be here for a very long time good for that Sorry. you you're the mvp of the show um i just we i think this is gonna be my my experiment for this for this year can we convince the silent assassin to jump ship and root for some other team outside of the Giants. Is there a possibility that they're so bad that they that she might say, this is it? I did say, was it last week, two weeks ago? Yes. I'm doing like a hybrid Giants-Bears this year. See? But she, she got one foot in and one foot out. I don't, she, I don't know if I can go fully... Ow, ow. Ow, we're going to see. We're going to see. She's a Bears fan. We got her. I just want to make sure. Yes. She's telling the truth because I don't fucking believe her. <laughs> She's too Italian not nah, to be a Giants she, fan. She said, she said that, yo, she likes Caleb Williams. She likes. Have, the... you, have you ever had Chicago pizza? No. Okay. She likes the nail polish. He's a soft quarterback. Like he's a yeah, soft he's a man. Like, I get. Uh, he got a lot of Russell Wilson in him. Yeah, a lot. He sits like this. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Or maybe you know what? It makes sense. It's her generation. That's what I'm saying. That's her. That's her guy. Yeah. That 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 type of guy is like very <laughs> masculine. This <laughs> is. You know what it is? I figured out what it is. If you were given an opportunity, would you pick him up? Literally, yeah. Uh, a try. <laughs> but how, but, but how, but how would you pick him up? Would you pick him up like this way or this way? I usually go for over the shoulder. I don't know. I just <laughs> oh, she she's, she likes this. She, she... Wow, uh, that's real. That's disrespect. Barbarian, you put a man over your shoulder. That's disrespectful. <laughs> I go, I think, yeah. That's she, disrespectful. She, she she eats what she hunts. Yo, facts, <laughs> man. Savage, but I respect that she didn't, you know, lift him up like that because that she, you know, that's respect. Yeah, she didn't feminize. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But either way, a woman picked you up I, like that. That's, yeah, that's the, crazy. Yeah, that, I, I can't have that. I can't have that. Could you be with a woman that was like six four and pick you up? Pick me up how? It doesn't matter. If she, put, <laughs> if she put me on her arm, like pick me up like that. Right. I'd feel the way. 
If she picked me up the other way, I'd feel the way too. I'd feel wild. Yeah. It doesn't matter how she picked you up. Yeah, nah, she can't pick me up. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have you gotta have some type of respect for me. You got to. I think so. Like just because you can manhandle me, don't mean you have to show it. You feel what I'm saying? Like I don't like that. I don't like that. I'd block it like a suplex. Yeah. We fight. Nah, we don't have to. She's big enough to fight. Yeah. Until next week, stay safe. Stay cool. Peace. My son is the champ. So get over it. <laughs>